Welcome back to Let's Play Battlefield 1, ladies and gentlemen. In the last video, we finished up The Runner. We're storming the beaches, beaches of Gallipoli with the Australian infantry, and now we are on to our last war story. Nothing is written. Join Lawrence of Arabia in this desert campaign against the Ottoman Empire. In the deserts of Arabia, an insurgency war was raging years before I got to France. Tribes of Bedouins had united to fight a war that was very different from the one we fought in the trenches. Using small mobile units, they challenged the might of an empire, and they were rallied around the ideas of a single, influential warrior. Ideas of freedom and change. How nice. Hidden in plain sight, first mission, join Lords of Arabia in this desert campaign. Let's go. Al-Ajar, Mesopotamia, Spring 1918. The Great War engulfs the globe. In the deserts of the Middle East, Arab tribes rebel against their historical oppressor, the Ottoman Empire. To counter the uprising, the Ottomans deploy their most advanced technologies. The Empire's devastating artillery, combat aircraft, and armored vehicles engage rebel forces beating rifles from horseback. T. E. Lawrence, an unconventional British officer, works with a small force of highly mobile rebels. They cannot confront the Ottoman forces head-on. Instead, they must fight another way. Desert, a vast ocean of drifting sands and scorched, sun-baked rocks. Beneath these endless dunes, oil, the lifeblood of our new mechanical century. For more than 400 years, the Ottoman Empire has ruled these lands, controlling all that's to be found here. But the Ottomans do not rule unopposed. Small bands of Bedouin rebels have united to overthrow the empire. They strike without warning and then vanish into the desert. Fighting alongside them is a lone British officer whose exploits have earned him wide renown. The world has taken to calling this man Lawrence of Arabia. In the desert, you rely on good planning, but you also hope for a dash of luck. And luck was with us when we learned of a recently derailed Ottoman train carrying a most interesting piece of cargo. Told to use binoculars. Well, a small patrol had joined the Ottomans who survived the crash. Together, they guarded the wreckage and waited for reinforcements. Hmm. There's still more, I know it. Uh, one. This weapons thing over there. Any more. I've got a knife! A lone fighter has just one advantage over a large enemy force. A lone fighter can move unseen. Wow, the detection radius for running people is like so high. Cry havoc and let slip the door. You mind? I'm like running out of bullets for this thing already. It was a bad idea on my part to start sprinting immediately, but whatever. Out of ammo for that. Thankfully, your aim is not that good. Thank 
Thank you. Oh crap, grenade. exactly the way I wanted it to go up, pan out, but uh, hey, it worked. Time to grab some ammo from these fools, including this tent. I just realized I haven't. Your enemy has better weapons and better than you. So uh, this 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 would have been nice earlier, but um, sadly. <laughs> oh well. Time to move on. Okay, so there's a rooftop hatch over here somewhere that I have to get into. Ah, here it is. Hello? Haha! A book in a language I can't read! Uh oh! Oh, it's not gonna give me the option to fight back, huh? Well, you did not think we would be fast enough to catch you here, did you? Lawrence of Arabia. Actually, I was rather depending on it. Eh, Lawrence? Well, this is very clever. Now the hunter becomes the hunted. So who might you be? How enchanting you are, my dear. <laughs> Achmed. I'll show you enchanting. If it weren't for you, I'd be free. Free, is it? You'll be free when you're dead. And I'm happy to tell you, the Empire intends to grant you all this freedom very soon. Even now, an engine of destruction scours this desert, obliterating your allies, your families, your homes. Soon there will be nowhere to run! Nowhere to hide! Soon all that you know, and all that you love, will be ashes. You will all be free. from that man's feet and send him off into the desert naked to die. But think about it. You're right. I'm sorry. My friend here, she can be a little brusque. You're going to tell me how to lie to your train so we can lure it into a trap and destroy it. <laughs> Impossible. To even begin to talk to that train, you would need an entire book of communication codes. Oh, like this one, you mean? You can never stop the progress of machines! One day, the whole world will take your lands and the precious black gold beneath its sands! We shall see, my friend. Of course, obtaining the codebook was not enough. To destroy this Iron Dragon, this Canavar, as the Ottomans had named it, we had to send it three encrypted messages to it to stand down. There were Ottoman outposts scattered along the railroad tracks. The commanders there carried high-priority message capsules. We had to use those to send our orders. Infiltrating the village wouldn't be easy. A full detachment of Ottoman soldiers had occupied it. 
The Ottomans had chosen an isolated location for their desert outpost. It seemed lightly defended. It was also well stocked with arms and equipment. The ancient ruins were all that remained of a civilization now lost to time. The Ottoman Empire brought in the modern world with a host of armored vehicles and field guns. Three commanders to eliminate, three personal message capsules to be stolen, and then sent with our false orders. How Zara tackled this dangerous and audacious mission was up to her. So it's like just like freedom of play right here. That's nice. I like that. Okay, weapons cache right there. Fuel cans. Horse. Dude. Machine gun. Dude. Uh, more weapons. I don't see any more dudes from where I'm, from where I'm standing. So I'm gonna try that way first and see what happens. Oops. Oh, of course. Then there's that thing. Bedouin treasured their horses, and in return, those animals granted their riders unparalleled speed and mobility. Okay, so, okay, if I want to do this, like, safe, I should probably try and take out that vehicle. What, what do you have? A machine gun! Well, so much for stealth. He's like, meanwhile, this the, the the guy in the truck's like, what's going on? What are these? This is. I hope this is an anti-tank weapon. Nope, it's not. I need an anti-tank weapon. Here, I just have some of those. Have this, and have that. There we go. Come on. Just wait for that alert to go away. Come on, hurry up. Let the alert go away. There we go. I was hoping to get to that water tower actually, so that I can get up on get up on it and use it as recon. Let's see, let's see whether I can do that. Hope. Oh God, there's another vehicle, really. Is it going into the camp now? Into the village now? I hope so. Oh yeah, I can definitely use this water tower as a spotting out. It's a spotting post. Oops. Oops. Wait. Ladder. Damn it. There you go. And up, up, up. The view from up here is nice, isn't it? Okay, so there's that vehicle over there that's going off. Goodness, this uh, it's ruins and is that weapons? No, it's not. Uh, there's no one there, so let's hit all the way to the left. Right. Uh, anyone on these rooftops? No. There's that gun over there. There's that that dude over there. Uh, okay, another dude there. Just scouting the desert looking for me. Uh, can't quite see anyone else due to all these freaking. Ah, oh, there's another one. They're all on the edge now. So where's this commander I have to kill? This, this, oh crap! I forgot C is in my crouch button. I keep I, 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 I keep thinking C is my crouch button because I've been playing a lot of like Rainbow Six Siege lately, and C is crouch in that game. So like, new objective: eliminate the commander wherever he is. Uh, 
Oh no, so okay, she's in this area somewhere. Nope. Okay, vault. Zara, vault. Thank you. I said climb, damn it. Okay, you're on top of the boxes, now get on top of the wall. Thank you. I have a I have a gut feeling that he's in the little command post in the center of this circle. Cause like this is one of the multiplayer maps as well, and I'm pretty familiar with it. And there's like a command post there in the center. Ah there we go. It's like it's like that commute comms hub. So comms? There's a communications post in here. I think there's a dude in here. Nope! Gimme you! What do you mean I alerted the horde? She didn't even... Yes, yes, that's it. Go back to being not on alert. Friggin' detection system in this game. Yep, so I need to get over there. Literally doesn't move. Wow, what a pigeon. Go, my friend. A single order would be enough. Ottoman protocol required the message to be received in triplicate before the train could acknowledge it as genuine. We caught either one of the remaining Ottoman strongholds. Well, we do have to recon all three of them anyway, so like. So I guess we're going to the weapons depot next, which is this way. And we got to ride across their sands. And is this is this good enough? Ooh, yep, it's just just about enough. Weapons, weapons, cash, dude. Dude, uh, alarm, dude, alarm, dude. Something tells you that this particular one isn't going to be that easy. Merely because of how sparse it is. Like, it's so sparse, it's like you need three dudes. Minus the officer I have to kill, which is four. New objective, eliminate the commander wherever he is. The hell? You mean I could use a gun, but I don't have a silenced gun? That's the thing. There you go. Show that. I'm gonna get around this guy and then crouch up to him. Oh, never mind, he's turned around. Oh gosh, dang it. It's a pity that he's standing right there and can't see me. Even though I am standing up and not even trying to hide right in front of him. Uh, anything else that I missed in my initial recon? An anti tank gun. How oh, wonderful. Ah, yes, he's going off that way. Good. It's a good thing my crouch walking is also faster than this guy walks. Goodbye. Must be in here. Yep, I was right. Same building every time. Hi, bye. Give me this. Dispatch this shit. Shouldn't be too hard with the minimal guard presence in this area. Uh, 
I wonder what they're gonna what they're gonna do all do with all this these spent casings. Hey, hey, dude, stop! You know, sometimes you know, like the enemy banter that carries over, like between the other between the, between the enemies, something. You'd wish that sometimes the continuity would carry over, like this guy would try and talk, and then it's like his buddy wouldn't respond after you kill him. I was like, wait a minute, wait. How come he's not responding? Oh, goes to investigate. Oh, he's dead. Damn it. Then again, that would be a bit too realistic, wouldn't it? Right. Get this next pigeon. Free, free. We were putting a great deal of trust in Zara's capabilities, but I had complete confidence that she would carry the day. Of course she would. I'm controlling Zara. We call the final Ottoman stronghold, which is that way. But first, lol. Like there are any more guards in this camp? There aren't any. Thank you. Just in case. <laughs> right. We'll. Oh God. Wait. You better come down this damn road. Ah, uh, that was great. Anyway, that's all the time I have for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, leave a like and a comment in the comment section below. Subscribe to my channel for more gaming videos, and I'll see you guys in my next video.